Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X. In today's video, we will be going through our community's wish list for Apple Notes in iPadOS 16. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. It goes without saying, Vector Ink is better than Rasta Ink for digital note taking. We would love to see ink that does not pixelate in Apple Notes, like the one we have in Noteful. Noteful is one note taking app with some impressive zooming capabilities and the ink does not pixelate. We would love to see something like that for our ink in Apple Notes. The only default colors Apple Notes got right are black and red. If you're going to limit the number of colors on a toolbar, the least you can do is let us decide what those colors are. We hope that in iPadOS 16, we'll be able to customize these colors. For example, in Noteful, we can customize and change any color on the toolbar. The application even lets us add more colors if we want. It makes sense to have our favorite colors easily accessible on the toolbar. It would also make us happier to add more colors to Apple Notes toolbar. You can either add more space by making the toolbar a bit longer to accommodate more colors, or you could shrink the color circles that are already on the toolbar to make room for more. iPad OS 15 finally gave us the ability to mix our handwriting with images. We hope, however, to get better support for PNG images. Please remove the gray background that Apple Notes is adding to our images without backgrounds. The whole idea of using a PNG image is so that it blends with its surroundings to make it look like it was directly drawn on the page. Adding a background defeats the purpose. If removing the background is difficult, perhaps you could add a color that looks like the pages in Apple Notes. That shouldn't be difficult because the app only has one page color. Please give us the ability to mix handwritten notes with text. Digital note taking shouldn't have such limitations. Instead of blocking the text, Apple Notes should implement text boxes instead. Those work great in most note taking apps, giving us the ability to mix our handwriting with text. We don't understand why different fonts, colors, and sizes should be limited to the Mac and markup in Apple Notes. We would love to see the markup text formatting options in Apple Notes' main window. The formatting options on the iPad version of Apple Notes are limited and annoying. Apple Notes' web version is not usable either, which leaves us with one solution. iPad OS 16 must update the text formatting options on the iPad to match the Mac version's capabilities. We would love to add superscripts and subscripts, text alignment, change the default settings for our titles and headings. Not many note-taking apps support tables, so we don't want to sound ungrateful, but we do need more features for our tables. To be able to adjust the width and height of rows and columns, and easily add rows and columns in a single tab. The continuous canvas in Apple Notes makes exporting out of the app a massive pain. We would like a way to know when a page is ending and a new one is beginning. It could be with a small gap between pages like you get in Noteful, or a simple line in the case of liquid text. Distinct pages would mean fixed page sizes in the application. We would understand starting with just one page size, A4 or letter. That way, when we create our notes for exporting, our diagrams and handwriting don't get cut off in inconvenient places. We would also love the ability to zoom in and out of our pages, especially for our quick notes. At the moment, every quick note we handwrite in Apple Notes looks too big to be useful when you actually open it as a full page in the application. 
We would love to use this feature for something more important than rough notes and quick scribblings. Zooming capabilities can allow us to do that. Another way to go about it would be to let us resize sections of our notes with the lasso tool. It's great that we can create space to add more notes whenever we need to. However, at times, resizing a section does a better job. Please add some rotation capabilities while you're at it. Anyone else tired of PDF attachments that open in a different window? We still prefer that PDFs open as notebooks, not attachments. Perhaps that way we could add photos, videos, and files to our PDFs. Opening PDFs in the application would make it easier to import custom templates for use, the same way we use our digital notebooks in Noteful. Users could also do their journaling and digital planning in Apple Notes. That would be a better user experience. Apple Notes also needs to properly embed photos and audio files so that they also don't open in separate windows when we tap them. Videos in Apple Notes are the only attachments that are embedded in your notes so you can fully interact with them on the page. We would love to see this for all attachments in the application. Apple Notes syncs across your devices, which is awesome. However, we believe auto backup is as important as syncing. That is why we would love to have the option to backup to cloud services that are not iCloud. On those rare occasions when you need your notes, you've already permanently deleted from the app, auto backup comes in handy. Noteful currently backs up to Google Drive. And we also look forward to having more options in the application. Audio recording is also an added advantage to have in a note-taking app, especially when it can sync with your notes. When your job involves taking in a lot of information at once, recording some of that information as audio is a tremendous help. We should be able to share the kinds of notes we want from Apple Notes. Text notes shouldn't be limited to just text exports only. We would like to be able to export PDFs of our text as well. Let's hope iPadOS 16 can bring us more export options so we know exactly what we're sharing and not have to guess at it every time. Sharing a notebook out of Noteful gives you the option to choose the format you want, a PDF or native one. PDF is a universal format that opens on any device in almost any app. In Noteful, you can then choose to include the background or annotations on the page. We would love to see that in Apple Notes. There is nothing smart about Apple Notes' current smart folders. If anything, they're just an extra step to complicate your organization. Tags are a smart way of creating folders, especially if you want a notebook to belong to different folders. And Noteful has successfully implemented that system. That does not mean the application has smart folders. There are a few basic features folders need to be considered smart, and Apple Notes doesn't have any of these for its smart folders. They should be automated and determined by several parameters. Apple Notes could automatically create smart folders from notes taken from specific locations, on specific dates, or with specific characteristics. An excellent example of shared smart folders is seen from Pages and Keynote. You can easily find work that you're collaborating on for any application. Different users, however, need different smart folders. Because of that, Apple Notes should have the options for users to turn off smart folders they don't need. And they should also allow users to create custom smart folders we would love to see updates coming through from App Store like they do for Pages. We would also like to access our notes in files like we do with documents we create in Keynote and Pages. It's weird that our notes from Apple Notes don't appear here. Did we miss anything? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.